Chairman. Sewer William Seal. Mr Chairman, I want to confine my remarks to uh, part two, section uh, close 50, 52, 53, sorry, uh, with regard to the, 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 the changes to the, um, to the definition of the civic person. And I raise this uh, because um, I understand that there's been changes to the Pacific Islands Polynesian Education Foundation Act 1972. And, and I note that in the original act, it refers to Polynesian. Uh, and the definition of Polynesian in the original act means a member of the Polynesian race living in New Zealand uh, who is both a native of any island of the Pacific Ocean. Which begs the question, yeah. is, is it just the Polynesian that we include here? or Because there is Melanesia and Micronesia. <laughs> and because now that we've moved away from using the word Polynesia, we're using the word Pacific, um, others may claim, well, uh, the Solomon Islanders, are they Pacific? <laughs> and so I, I wasn't part of the, uh, the, the select committee, so I, I don't know what the thinking was and that whether it was supposed to be encompassing with the new definition including Pacific rather than, rather than referring to just the Polynesian sector only. Um, so that's the, the, what I wanted to ask there. The other thing is, in the original act, it also makes reference to, um, to that the, there was a fund, a foundation established, which would be, um, uh, which would be under the Minister of Education responsibility for the management or governance of that particular funding. And I'm asking, do we know how much money is in that funding? Um, because the purpose of that funding was to help Pacific communities and to be able to provide support to their educational aspirations. And, and I'm not quite sure whether any member of the public is aware that that funds exist and it sits with the Ministry of Education under the Minister, uh, under the Minister of Education's jurisdiction. Because that begs the question then, is that fund only going to be available for, for the Polynesian grouping, or is it now going to include the more wider definition of Pacific, which includes the other islanders who are not part of the new definition um, which is Cook Islands, Fiji, Niue, Samoa, Tokelau, Tonga, and now Tuvalu and Kiribati. And I say that because we do, as small as these other populations are, they do exist, and they do live in Aotearoa, New Zealand. And with the growing Pacific population expected to, to, to reach significant numbers in the next 10 or 20 years, I think it is a concern for those of us who want to see the potential of the Pacific community you know, um, uh, improve significantly in the years to come because of the dependency of this nation uh, on that Pacific or brown workforce. And so, I, I, I just to save me the trouble of having to write a, a written question, it might be useful if the minister was able to provide some answers to that. I also note that in the, um, in the subsequent clauses, um, let me refer you to constitution of the board. It makes reference that a member appointed up in subject, if a member of, appointed for the board is absent from any meeting, the member may authorize any other person to attend the meeting in the member's place. I'm not sure what the purpose of that, whether it was to maintain a, a quorum, but I've, it's sort of new um, that under normal circumstances, if you are the member appointed and you cannot attend, you'd table um, an apology. I, I, I don't know what the purpose is that an appointed member is now able to authorize another person to represent them in the likelihood that they are absent from that particular meeting. What was the reason for that? Um, and so I'm generally asking these questions because um, the, the submissions of this took place at a time when I was not a member of this committee, so I have not had the privilege of being part of that and hearing the, the ministry's um, um, explanation as to the, to the amendments of this act. But uh, it'd be really interested to know because I would, I dare say I've heard sometimes where a Solomon Island would say, am I not a Pacific person? 
or one what to would say, am I not a Pacific person? Jim. Yeah. Kotoka. 